Hi Carly, how are you doing? Hi, I'm well, how are you? I'm good. How was your week? It was actually, uh, it was actually really good. Really good? Yeah. And why is that? Um, I don't know, I just like felt better about myself, I felt better about the things I was doing. Uh, I just like, I feel like overall I was just kind of happier. It was also kind of like a laid back week compared to what I'm used to, so it was kind of nice to just, you know, kind of do my own thing and like sleep in. Um, what yeah. else have you been doing during the week? You seem much um, more relaxed. I can see that. I can feel that. Well, I you know, feel relaxed. Um, I, so I'm still not going to dance. My instructor does want me to go for a couple weeks. Um, but, yeah, so because I couldn't go, I just spent the week kind of just doing my own thing, I guess. Um, last time we talked, I know you had told me to like try some new things to get out with like different people and stuff. So did you do that? I did. I, I actually went to a yoga class towards the beginning nice. of the week just to try it out, and uh, I liked it for like a ton of reasons. And uh, you know, aside from it just being really relaxing, it was also really nice because. Uh, I met like a group of girls and a couple guys there that we all just like afterwards were just talking and it was um, one of the guys' first times to the yoga class so we were invited to like go out for like a little healthy brunch after. Um, I don't know, I just like in a really good spirit, some really good mood after the class and it was a really easy way to make some new friends. Um, so we went to this little like organic market for lunch, and we all just had you know light meal, light snack, I guess. Um, you know smoothies and juices, and I actually didn't like purge or like binge. Um, I just ate my meal and I like, kept it on like I felt good about it, and then I feel like I had energy for the rest of the day. How did that feel like eating and then being in a good mood and um, not one? It was like the first time that I really can remember in a long time that I didn't feel the need to like excuse myself to go to the bathroom or like go home and you know make myself sick. I just like felt good. I was happy. Um, and then I ended up with the guy who was the first like it was his first time to yoga too. Um, we ended up getting along really well and uh, he just asked me. If I want to like go grab coffee with him the next day, so we just grabbed like a casual cup of coffee, and it turns out we have a lot in common. So um, he invited me to dinner a couple days later, so we went out to dinner too. Um, it was also the first time that I had had a male compliment me that I felt like was a genuine thing. Um, you know, but I'm not even saying like there's not a relationship there or anything. Yeah, they're just nice to you know go out and. Spend time with a different group of people. I didn't have to talk about dance the entire time. Uh, you know, I'm taking I'm only taking like two classes at the college nearby, but you know, I was able to like you know talk more just like about school and like my life goals, and it kind of reminded me it was like a good way to put things into perspective and keep like you know my eye on the prize or whatever. How do you feel that you don't participate in your like in the practices and you don't have like a you don't you're not in touch with your with what you what was your goal until like last week? Uh, well, it was like at first it was I was mad I was just like really ticked off and then after like a couple of days just being ticked off I uh, I kind of just got like lonely in a sense, like bored, I just, I had nothing to do, and then I remembered that you had told me to, like, go out and just try something new to, like, you know, make a good group of friends, and I wasn't really feeling going out at night, because when I go out at night, I go with, like, dancing friends, and, you know, I, I really had no desire to, like, be around them at that particular moment, and, um, so going to yoga and um, meeting other friends, other people, uh, was like a, a sudden decision or you were thinking 
thinking about that for days? It was, um, so I spent one of my days um, walking to a couple different dog shelters in the city, and I don't know, you know, I'm just like dreaming about adopting a dog. I think it'd be really fun, but you know, right now I don't think my schedule, my budget, maybe. It's tough. It's yeah, so I just, you know, it's like, all right, let me just like take a little me day and go with the little puppies. Um, and I passed a new yoga studio. I mean, it's like fairly new. It's only been out for a couple months and um, looked at the ratings online. I had really good ratings and reviews, so I just figured, you know, I've never actually done yoga. I know my mom does yoga. Um, so decided to give it a try. So I like, went in, you can take a class for free, like try it out. Uh, and I did, and I, like right after that class actually, like, I mean, a member, like, got a membership I was going for to, that. I was going to ask if you, um, assigned, like, if you became a member because... Yeah, that's how much I loved it. Yeah, so having a, if you have a good time there, you, you did the right thing, becoming a member and go there every week. I, I, like, every week or what do you, what do you plan to um, do? I mean, I think well, right now, so I went twice this week. I did, like, Monday. Twice. Right. Well, I did Monday, Friday, and Sunday. Two or three times, depending on how you consider the week. Um, and but that's also, you know, my schedule like, didn't really have much. Yes, I'm going to ask you this, but how are you going to uh, adjust your schedule if you go back to, to practice? Um, have you well, that's, about? yeah, the other thing is I've kind of been thinking a little bit. Uh, about maybe like stopping dance well, for a little bit like I've been thinking and maybe I like stop with the like competitiveness like competitive level right now and then just go to like a recreational like at the same studio but more on a recreational level yes. and just to kind of like maintain my skill level maybe learn some new things um, but it would only be like a couple times a week, not every day for all day. Um, and I could take more classes and allow more time for, I don't know, I just realized after hanging out with, you know, a newer group of individuals that there is like a lot that I feel like I'm missing. Like I live, you know, in New York City, but I've not actually seen New York City. I know, you know, my neighborhood, um, you know, on the Upper East Side, and I know my dance studio, and that's about it. So. You needed fresh faces in your life. Yeah, I just like, and I realized too that, you know, after like thinking a lot and, you know, like thinking about the sessions and things that we've talked about, that, you know, a lot of me not feeling good about myself, and like always. Like feeling bad, I feel like I, I don't know. I think part of the issue is that I'm always like in some kind of sport or activity that always makes me feel like I'm not like there yet. I'm not skinny enough yet. I'm not good enough yet. You know, I'm not like losing enough weight fast enough yet. Like there's always something I'm not doing enough. Um, Yoga is uh, a tough. Uh body activity, right? Uh, going there, uh, were you kind of biased about uh, am I skinny enough for this? Or? Honestly, not really. Okay, so like I walked in and you know we all set up our mats and I set up in the back just because I had no idea what I was doing or what I just got myself into. Um, but then I, I, like, I looked around for a little bit. I was kind of comparing myself to other people. But then I also realized it was it's a lot harder to do when there are people of like all shapes and sizes. There are like males and females. So first, you can't compare yourself to males. Um, it's not like dancing where it's like twenty females and one male. It's yes. like it was like almost half and half, maybe a couple more females. So you like the yeah. Um, you know, so you can't just like compare yourself to a guy because we're all very different. And then yes. did you feel uncomfortable? Not really. Um, but then I realized that there are people that are bigger than me. Like, not just, not like, not saying they're fat. They're just, like, 
I think well, broader. Broader. It's yeah. like, you know, like broader shoulders, taller, you know, just like bigger than me. Yeah. I don't know people that were smaller than me. You know, there was, um, you know, some girls that looked like they're still in high school. Um, you know, so like that, like pre-pubescent. You know, so like you can't compare yourself to someone that hasn't hit puberty yet either. So like I was just kind of comfortable with where I was. You know, and like I wasn't competing with everyone else. Like I still didn't necessarily feel like great about myself. I just wasn't. It was the first time in a long time that I wasn't like standing around in a group of people and like constantly worried about how I looked. And I think the instructor was really good too. Uh, and you know, I kind of just ran like periodically throughout the session was kind of like, oh, you know, don't, you know, focus on yourself, focus on like the inner you, you know, channel yourself. And it was like those reminders not to like look at the people next to you, just to, like you and your mat. Or like look in the mirror if you need help, like positioning yourself and um so, are you planning to like develop a relationship with your instructor at yoga in order to let him or her know about your condition? Um, I mean, not yet. We'll kind of just like see where things go and get through a couple more classes. Uh, I was invited. One of the girls that I did yoga class with invited me. And I feel like other people. It's like a regular thing they do. They do Thursday night like dinners because you know Friday, Saturday, like the weekend, nobody really wants to like stay in, you know, people want to go out or do their own thing. So she says Thursday night, it's like a potluck dinner, so everybody brings something else. So I'll be going later this week. Um, um, you said earlier that uh, you're thinking about stopping uh, dancing for a while. Um, I have a sense that uh, you want to stop it, stop it uh, completely. What do you think? No, I don't, I don't think I want to stop it completely. I was kind of thinking, I mean, I haven't, like, I've been thinking about it a lot, but I haven't just, like, sat down and, been, like, kind of made, like, a list or, like, an outline. Um, but I was thinking, like, uh, you know, in some summer classes, like, the summer session for schools and colleges and universities start at the very end of May. So I could maybe take like two classes over the summer, because right now with the dancing, I'm kind of behind. You know, I'm just taking classes to like make you know still trying to maintain an education, like work towards that. Um, and how how many years do you have left in your school? Uh, I would still. I mean, like if I were on a regular track, I would be finishing my sophomore year, or I'm sorry, my junior year. But with like the rate that I was on, I um, like if I took classes this summer, I would be finishing my sophomore year. So I would start in the fall as a junior. Yes. I'm like a year and a little bit more than that behind. Um, so it's gonna be a busy summer for you. I mean, I would only take like two classes, and they could be easy, like electives, you know, just to kind of like fill my time and to get credits. Um, but it just gave me something to do. So, um, do you think that going back to dancing, I mean, are you going, going to be able um, to combine dancing with yoga? Because this week I can, I can feel that you achieve, uh, achieved a lot of things, like uh, making new friends, uh, doing um, stuff that you didn't do before. Um, do you think that uh, without dancing, you can enjoy yourself more and enjoy life in general more than with dancing? Um, I know it's your primary goal to, be, to become a dancer, but yeah, if just, you can enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, that's kind of just where I realized that I'm like torn. Because I came to New York and, you know, like, did work almost my entire life, you know, for like, literally longer than I can remember. <coughs> um, you know, like, dancing has always been a part of my life, and I finally made it to the point where I, like, have, you know, the potential, and, you know, I'm in the training to be in the New York City, like, ballet, and part of that group. So 
I don't know if I'm the